Hey, what's up, Android users? It's your boy, Serrano. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for subscribing on your way in and clicking that like button. Um, today, it doesn't matter um, what Android phone you're using, what carrier that it comes from, what um, whatever the phone you're using is, whether it's a LG phone, an Asus phone, a Samsung phone, um, a ZTE, it really doesn't matter. This video here, I'm going to talk about how to move all your apps and the data that it is included in those apps to the SD card. Um, pretty much to your SD card. It's going to give you the ability to take advantage of moving every single last one of the files that you've ever desired to use directly to the SD card. I finally figured it out and I finally um, am going to put it together in this video to share with you today. So make sure you stay tuned and don't go anywhere. Watch the video from the beginning until the end so you can take advantage of it as well. What it is is that there's an app. It's, it's from the Play Store. It's verified by, from Play Protect. It has 100,000 downloads. It has 4.5 stars on the store. It's the SD card fast and easily um, moving app. And you don't have to have any root from your phone to get this done or any hacks. What it is is that this phone um, hacks into the permission settings giving you the ability to completely utilize your SD card to your liking, letting you take advantage of all the space that you've ever wanted to move to your SD card. So as you can see here, it has some highly um, talked about and highly touted ratings on the Play Store. A lot of people have respectfully given this app credit for what it's worth because there's no other way to move your apps and the data that's included into them. This video has been highly requested and I already have a lot of videos where I show you how to move apps and other things like that to the SD card, but this is the one that gives you full capability. Go into the app, click it, open it up. What you're gonna do is you could see I already have a lot of data that I've already utilized but for this video I saved some of the space so that I could show you how to do it for yourself you can see here there's a portable storage which is the SD card that has 13 gigabytes free space then I have the internal storage and that's the one we want to free space from when I before I even started using this app the most space I could get out of my device without this app on my phone was like 2.0 gigabytes but I'm gonna show you how to move some of that storage right now. So I'm starting out with 2.98 gigabytes. And I, um, I'm gonna go back into the app, open up the app, let it load, let it do its thing. The first thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna choose the right hand side with the three dots. We're gonna select SD card. Once you've selected SD card, it's going to give you the instructions. Basically, what it says here is that step one is to select the SD card. Step two is to select it again right here after you click the three dots. Then after that, you're going to go into the left hand side and select SD card again, and you're going to move the apps. So let's get started. Here you can see that these are all the files that have the ability to be moved on my SD card right here. You could select them manually right in this screen, or you could so click the select button to go to the next screen. And this is where all the magic happens. Wait for it to load up. After it loads up, you're going to wait a few more moments here and then we're gonna select the correct settings in the instructions so we'll click the right hand side we'll select 
SD card. We'll press OK. Then we'll go here to the other side. Right now, it's the internal storage is selected, so we'll go to SD card select. Now we're ready to go. We'll click select one more time. And as you can see, I've already emptied out a lot of the files here. Everything that says zero, I've already moved to my SD card. I'm going to choose a few more apps right here. And when I do that, you can see that something turns blue here, meaning that that's freeing up space on my SD card. And then on the bottom, it's adding space to the SD card. Let me choose some files that are kind of small so that it won't take that much time to, to actually watch. So I'll, I'll click some of those options here. You can see the blue is getting bigger, meaning that the more files I choose, the bigger the blue gets. Now that I've selected those apps, all I have to do is press this button right here, which says SD card on it. Just sit back and watch the magic happen and watch all the files free up on your smartphone. You could see here that it's already moving the files. I could go ahead and I could press pause so that you don't have to wait through the process of watching each app move to your SD card. It doesn't matter whether you have an LG phone, uh, a Samsung phone, a ZTE Z Max phone, an Asus phone, a Motorola phone. This app gives your phone the ability to access the permissions that enable the administrator to move those files directly to the SD card. I'm going to press pause right now and then I'll return right after this. When I started, I had 2.9 gigabytes of available storage. I'm going to show you once it finishes how much is left. I also want to mention that this app requires no root for your smartphone. In addition to that, the old techniques I've used in the other videos are out the window now. This is the newest fastest, easiest way to move all of your files to the SD card. So if you've seen my other videos on how to do it, this is the brand new way. This is the way that will give you the capability to move every file that you've ever desired to your SD card. A lot of people have asked me how do you move the data along with the app and all the files included in the app to the SD card. Well, this is the way. Stay tuned and I'll be right back right after this. Make sure you follow the directions precisely so that you can take advantage of this app to its entirety. I haven't moved all my Android files yet, but that'll free up another gigabyte of storage for me to use to download apps to my internal storage, which then can be moved to the SD card with this technique. I'm already 80% of the way through, and my phone is flying through that data. And after this, I'll show you the available storage that the phone will free up with this app called apps install apps on sd card move which is the best way to move your apps to the sd card oh my beautiful people who are watching this video thank you for watching as you can see i've freed up 200 additional megabytes of storage to my SD card. I'm going to click the OK button and everything that I've selected here has now zero um, megabytes and there's no more storage inside of those files I've chosen. You could see that my phone is at 3.1 gigabytes of free storage and the SD card now has more 
information and data inside of it. When I go to the settings menu and I go to storage and I go inside the internal storage, you can see here it says 3.1 gigabytes of internal storage available of use. So I've already freed up a substantial amount of data. I did this as an example to show you exactly how to free up space. You could also clear the cache to get additional storage freed up on your smartphone. So that's how you would get more data, more storage freed up so that you could take advantage of your smartphone to its full capacity, the way it was meant to be used, so that you can have more memory to enjoy your smartphone. Thank you for watching this video, my beautiful Android users. Thank you for subscribing. Click that like button on your way out. Depending on where you are, have a great morning, afternoon, evening, and good night. Peace. I'll see you on the next video. It's your boy Serrano, and have a great night. Peace.